long before humans made their mark on the land. The Rio Grande River was shaping Resaca de la Palma State Park. Ancient coils of riverbed, known as Resacas, would ebb and flow, creating a home for a menagerie of wildlife. <laughs> There's a little hole right through here. You can see them on the top of this. <laughs> I'm fixing to stop right up here and let y'all walk the rest of the way. This is a fine trail for seeing Mexican blue-winged butterflies. Now the challenge out here is to separate the other bird calls from the chachalacas. I see this area more of a, a treasure. They're still in the branches. Because bronzel is growing so rapidly, it's going to be sort of urbanized. This is going to be one of the few places that you're going to be able to enjoy the outdoors. It's straight ahead. And that was kind of like the idea of the, of the World Birding Center complex, is to create this wildlife corridor uh, all throughout the valley. This corridor represents a convergence of two major flyways with over 500 species of birds, served by a series of locations throughout the Rio Grande Valley, collectively known as the World Birding Center Network. The Altamira Oriole, the one that everybody saw. This region is connected not just geographically, but in the virtual world as well. Altamira Oriole would actually be one of the ones. We just mapped it here, here, and here as well. If you tell it to play a sound. Pretty common song that we heard this morning. We have a really cool way of keeping our visitors informed. So what we do is we use our Facebook. The visitors love it because they get to look at our photo album and, and see how much fun we have, what they can expect when they come here. This really, really says what Rosaka de la Palma is all about. Down, it's, it's down, it's ahead, it's straight ahead. Ah, right up on top, that's our mockingbird, absolutely. It's always rewarding for us to see families come to the park and be excited about what they see. We have a healthy population of different animals. Each has established its own range. They're happy. There's enough food, water, shelter. They're happy, you know, and if they're happy, we're happy, you know. That's bottom line. 